Hey everybody, this is Sean B. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, and you know what time it is, it is Make Money Mondays. What time is it, people? It is Make Money Mondays, and today's a special episode because we just had some of the top internet directors, some awesome people, spend the last two days with us here at Dealer Synergy, and some of the internet directors had given us suggestions for this week's episode. This episode is gonna be frustrations and rejections. So what does that mean? What are we talking about here? Let's give a specific example. Let's say you have an appointment setter, a BDC rep or coordinator, that doesn't have a lot of leads in their file, so they're trying to make their 120, their 120, 120, and let's say they get a customer that's like, Err, why are you calling me so much? So that's one situation, is if somebody gets mad of why are you calling me so much, why are you, why are you following up? Let's give another one. What happens if somebody says, email me only, email me only, and you follow the rules, and you call them, and like, why'd you call me? Folks, first things first, you cannot control what other people are gonna say, other people are gonna think. The first tip that I'm gonna give you is this, is that you do not want it to let it ruin your day. Because if you turn on and take the rejection or take the criticism or take the heat, and all of a sudden it's gonna to totally screw you up. All my dealer synergy clients know this, is I believe in the laws of attraction and the laws of manifestation. So if you feel stressed out, if you feel upset, if you feel embarrassed, if you feel like you're doing something wrong, then that's what's gonna you know, trickle down the rest of your day. The rest of your day is gonna be shot. Everybody's gonna be complaining. Everybody's gonna be mad at you. Everybody's gonna be MFing you. You need to control yourself. It is not an emotional thing, this is business. We've heard that phrase before. It's nothing personal, it's business. So if somebody's gonna react to you, you gotta think to yourself, why are they reacting? It might not, because, it might not be because you are calling them too much, who knows, maybe their dog got ran over. I know that's a bad visual, but maybe something happened. Maybe they, they stubbed their toe, maybe they had a bad day, maybe they're sick and they're cranky and you're an easy target because you're just some anonymous person. You can't take it personally. You have to turn around and flick it off. How many times for my car people that are watching this that you turn around and you up somebody and they say, I'm just looking, or I said I'm just looking, if I want something I'll talk to you. I get that. But that's, if you turn around and believe everything everybody says or take it to heart, you'll never sell cars, you'll never make money. So the best advice that I have is just put it into perspective. Again, put it into perspective. So let's rewind. The name of the video series for today for Make Money Mondays is Frustrations and Rejections. You've got to accept that's gonna happen. You've got to accept that. First of all, let's just keep it real here. What do I train you all? For especially dealer synergy clients, you only have an 11 to 14 percent connection ratio. That means the majority of what you're doing is never going to result in anything. How about this? You actually get the body on the phone. You're only looking at a 25 to 33 percent appointment, you know, made ratio. You're only looking at about a 62 to 67 percent show ratio. You're only looking at a 45 to 47 percent selling ratio. Your odds are on the negative side. Everything you do is going to be the minority. So if you are catching feelings now, you're getting all emotional and depressed and stressed out and feeling kind of sad, you're in the wrong industry. Rejection is part of the job. Dialing for dollars without a gratification is part of the job. So don't stress about the rejection, just absorb it as part of the reality of your job. Let that soak in for a second. Let that really, really marinate for a second. That is going to be standard operating procedure. The faster that you could accept somebody being heat on you, yelling, complaining, why you're doing this and that, the, the, the faster that you could accept that it's just part of your job, the easier your job is gonna be, I promise you. And then you could get onto the next one. Here's the, here's the tip. If you deal with one or two heat cases, you're that step closer to getting a great prospect on the phone. Every time somebody rejects you and says, no, 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 stop calling me, you're not interested, you're one phone call closer towards that appointment. That's the way you gotta look at it. Is you, every negative barrier you crush through, you're one step closer to getting somebody to say, you know what, I'm coming in at 315 or 415, I can't wait to buy a car. So you gotta realize that emotions and feelings are a huge part of your job. A true professional is gonna be able to control those emotions, those feelings. So I know this is Make Money Mondays, this is not you know, Sympathy Saturdays. I'm just letting you know it's really important for you to have a great week, is just get your mind right and get your strategy right and never compromise your process integrity because of what people say or do. Because if you do, you're never gonna be able to sell appointments or sell cars. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Make Money Mondays. If you like this week's episode of Make Money Mondays, you're going to love all the content on automotive digital training. So please go to automotivedigitaltraining.com and sign up today. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to call me on my cell phone at area code 267-319-6776. Yes, that's really my cell phone. Don't put it on any bathrooms or anything. Thank you. Bye.